<laughs> so, okay. So what can readers expect from your latest endeavor? And what is your latest endeavor? My latest endeavor has not been um, taken for publication yet, but it's a first novel called The Poacher's Girl. I'm very fond of it. That doesn't mean it's going to be taken. I've learned over a very long career. I, I mean, I'm 84 now, and my first book was taken when I was 22. But I had had poetry published before then. And over a long career, you know, you know that you're not going to sell everything. Um, but sometimes you're surprised because 10 years later or 20 years later, somebody takes it. Um, that's because publishing changes and shifts. Uh, the editor who buys it may not have been born yet. Um, so, and since I have so many children and grandchildren who are also published writers, I am assuming that when I die, they will go and take my old stuff and rewrite it, <laughs> which is fine. So okay. the, the new one is called The Poacher's Girl, um, a, a verse novel, and it's based on Sleeping Beauty, but it's about um, when the old king and the whole crew um, got surrounded by the, the sleeping hedge so that they're all sleeping and the princess is still waiting to be kissed. Um, one, one man, um, who was the grandfather or the great grandfather of, of, our, of, of the poachers, the poachers uh, girl, um, was the, the King's, um, groundskeeper. And he was outside looking at the grounds so that he couldn't get back. He couldn't get in through the hedge. So he stayed outside and over the years, he was married, had children, um, and one of the children, um, uh, uh, one of the children became the groundskeeper, but was really a poacher on the king's land. Um, and so he raised three boys and a girl, who were who are also poachers, which meant that they they never went in because they they could see the bones of princes. In the in 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 the inside of the the fence, the, the, the hedge. So they know better than to go there, but they sometimes with a long stick or something can take something out of there. Um, but they also poach on the land. And, but it's from the point of view of the girl. Uh, and um, in the end, she finds a way of getting in uh, because she, as a little girl, she crawls in a rabbit hole and comes up and sees this place where there are all these people standing around but not moving and and dogs uh, standing around but not moving, et cetera. And she finds a sleeping princess, but she's too young to know, know the story. And she goes back down and years later when she's 16 or 18, I forget which, she goes back and she kisses the princess. And everybody wakes up. Uh -huh. and, and the last scene, she and the princess are walking out hand in hand. I don't, I don't go anywhere else from there. That's the end of it. You can go where you want with it. Uh huh. So, but it is, it is in uh, verse. Uh -huh. um, some of it rhymes, some of it not. Uh, so, so we'll see. Maybe nobody will take it. Maybe I will self-publish it. Maybe one of my kids will tart it up and, and sell it after I'm gone. Uh, but but uh, I just enjoy the writing. And and uh, it's it's the writing that keeps me going every day. 